Welcome back to Thoughts on the Cosmos. We've been taking a look at galaxies for the past five episodes, and I'd like to take some time to come home to our solar system. A collection of eight planets, countless moons, planetoids, comets, and asteroids orbiting a star that formed from a giant ass molecular cloud 4.5 billion years before the making of this video. Human beings have yet to cross the vast distances of outer space to visit other solar systems. Doing that would require extreme amounts of energy and resources, as well as cooperation from all the peoples of all the nations of planet Earth, which is something that at our current state we are not yet capable of doing. We can't even agree on whether it should be called fries or crisps. We are still very young. And unless you are Rick Sanchez from Dimension C-137, none of us will be traveling to other solar systems anytime soon. So just like the Earth is currently our only home, the solar system is our neighborhood among the stars. The nearest other neighborhood to ours would be the star system Alpha Centauri, four years away. Morty, M Morty, y y you gotta come over here right, right now. It consists of three stars, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and the small and faint red dwarf Proxima Centauri that isn't even visible to the naked eye from planet Earth. Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the Sun and was discovered exactly 100 years ago in 1915. Alpha Centauri A and B are a binary star system, two stars bonded together by their mutual gravity and close distance to their partner. They orbit each other around a common center of gravity in a sort of revolving dance of star stuff. Beautiful. These two stars are so close together that they appear as a single star to the naked eye. With a telescope, you can pick out the individual stars. The distance separating Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B is about the same as the distance from the Sun to Uranus. Less than that if it's Nicki Minaj's anus. Proxima Centauri, the little dwarf, is a bit of an odd member to this collection of stars. It's kind of like a third wheel on a date. We're not sure whether it is gravitationally bounded to the other two circling stars. That would make Alpha Centauri a triple star system. It could possibly be just casually passing by and eventually, within a few million years, leave the star system altogether. That is an ongoing mystery of the cosmos. <coughs> Rick, yeah, that's a good idea, Rick. I agree, Rick. And you wonder whether the Alpha Centauri that our children will venture to will be different from the one that we know of today in the 21st century. From the Earth, we see the stars as static and unmoving points. That's because the distance between stars is so huge, it appears as if nothing ever changes. The Alpha Centauri star system is nothing like the realm of our Sun with its eight planets. So far, we've found hints of a single planet in the Alpha Centauri system called Alpha Centauri b B that orbits the B star, but further evidence is needed to confirm the existence of this alien planet. The whole world and tomorrow's adventures await for the verification of this discovery. The closest planet outside of the solar system orbits one of the closest stars outside of the solar system. If that doesn't spark your intrigue and interest for adventure, then I don't know what does. Human beings have grown up to be familiar with our local stellar neighborhood. Early human cultures worshipped the sun as a god and named the planets after gods. Imagine a culture that grew up on a double or triple star system. Their culture and how they perceive the world would be as much alien to us as the Alpha Centauri star system is to our solar system. But as alien as Alpha Centauri is, we'll be sure to visit it again in another video soon. And in person, hopefully on a later day. My name is Son of Terra 92, and this has been Thoughts on the Cosmos. Boop.